Ah! Fuck, I missed on my focus! Hello everyone, welcome to my drunk camera review. Today we will be reviewing my precious Olympus Stylus Epic camera. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I got this guy probably about, oh god, like, like six months ago, and I've been using it all the time. It's a very, very nice little camera. I take it to a lot of trips I go on. Um, it's got some wear and tear on it, as you can see. But I don't, it's not a baby, it's like, it's it's rugged. It's been wet, it's been in the rain, uh, and it's it, it keeps on trucking. And yeah, it's a nice little handheld design. When I bought this camera, I actually, I didn't only want one of them. I actually, I wanted two of them. So, yeah, I got, I got two of them. <laughs> because I'm a fucking loser, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this one, I, I gifted, and I almost lost it. But it came back uh, from the East Coast, so it's, it's home now. I'm just gonna sit you over there. But this one is the one that I carry around everywhere. But anyway, anyways, back to, back, to, back to my original camera. Olympus first started uh, making these in 1991 with the original stylus, which it was kind of the same body, it was more like symmetrical. This one's kind of like a weird shape, I don't know. It's like that. But the, the original one was like symmetrical. And uh, it only had, it had a 35 millimeter f 3.5 lens. Which may be cool, but then they came out with the Stylus Epic, which has -na -na, a 35 f 2.8 lens, which I can tell you from experience and from all the photos I have, it's fucking brilliant. The photos that I get from it, and another funny thing about this lens is, uh, it has a three fucking blade aperture. It's like a triangle. But somehow, it's like, the bokeh is gorgeous. It's so weird. But I love it. It's fucking amazing. And I'll, I'll give you, I got some examples of like what it actually looks like wide open, and it's like... If I could take this lens and put it on like any other camera, I totally would. But then I wouldn't have it on this camera, which would be a bummer, and I wouldn't like that. So it's staying on this one. But yeah, yeah. The way you, the way you, the way you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you start it up is you slide it open, and it the lens like comes out a little bit, and then it's like, oh yeah, you're on. But uh, yeah, so you turn it on. And there's not much to this camera. It's it's fully automatic. So you got like there's a shutter button. That's basically it. You got your flash button, which this thing has a fuck ton of flash modes. It's got uh, red eye reduction. It's got no flash. It's got flash all the time. Uh, nighttime flash, with I think is like a slow shutter sync. And it's got slow sh nighttime mode with red eye reduction. So it's like, I haven't used all of them, just because I, it's, I, I want to be simple with it. But, um, it seems pretty cool. And then you got, you got your, uh, your timer, which I've used that at night. I've set it up on a tripod, which seems fucking stupid. Because the tripod thing is like all the way down there. So I don't, I don't really know why. And it's got a remote, a remote, uh, shutter release, which I haven't ever found a use for. I don't have a fucking remote, but yeah, so that's most of the the exterior of it Then now let's get down to like the uh, the actual specs now One of the things about this camera is that the way it focuses is it doesn't actually focus through the lens It focuses by a laser It's like a rangefinder laser that tells the lens the focus now This is cool, but it also sucks. It's great in shooting in like darkness because doesn't need light it's just like oh laser there you go there's the distance but if you're trying to shoot through a window good fucking luck because it'll just it'll it'll do the distance to the window so no mirror selfies with this one I've tried it it sucks you get a blurry ass photo now one of the nice things about this camera is that that little that little thing right there that says all weather because this thing can it's been through rain it's been to the beach a lot and it's survived all of it. Now, the one annoying thing about this camera is that actually most of the Olympus Stylus Epics have 
is a light leak because where the lens extends out from right around in there there's light there's light seals now those light seals like to not seal properly so if they let light in and you can definitely tell if you're shooting in direct sunlight you will see some flaring it's not good flaring it's like it fucks up your photo flaring but i mean you can just remedy that by not going outside like i do yeah but Shooting indoors, this thing's fabulous. I'd like to take it to concerts. I took it to a 21 Pilots concert. I was front row, and it was fucking sick. Now, I have film in this one, so I'm gonna go and break out the other one so you can get a look inside. Now, it's got a little battery cover right here. There you go. These batteries, if you run out of them, like when you're shooting, fucking sucks, because these cameras, they don't like to remember what where you stopped at with your film. Like this one, got an error so and it wouldn't go away so I had to remove the film I had well I had to rewind the film all the way back didn't know didn't even know where I stopped at luckily it was like cheap ass film but it still sucked because I was like I still had shots left and I just wasted a roll so thank you camera but at least it gave me a chance to open it up you guys can see the inside now, it's very very tiny in there you can see there's the back lens and yep, it actually rolls, yeah, it rolls from this side to that side. And then you got your little back plate, which helps press the film. You got the film plane. But yeah, there, there's the inside. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. This one doesn't like to shut. And this one, this one's got the data back, which, I mean, it's cool. Surprisingly, this one actually will go to 2017. So if you ever want to be like super hipstery and use the camera dating system to date your photos, which I think is stupid, it ruins the photos. Uh, you can do that. But I mean, I guess it's for like parents. They're like, oh, when was this photo taken? I can't remember. There, there you go. You don't just like, see, I don't, I, li I don't like to remember when I take photos. I just take photos. I mean, sometimes I like to remember them, but most times not. Now, this camera is basically the exact same thing. Slide it open, boom, there you go. Bob's your uncle. It's got the same, same lens, same everything. Weatherproof. Pretty nice. All right, and that's that's my review of the uh, Olympus Stylus Epic. Uh, if you like it, I mean, you can give him a video a like um, and subscribe. I don't know if I'm ever gonna make another one of these, uh, but who knows? If you like it, I'll I'll do more of them. Cause I mean, I enjoy my cameras, so I feel like I should share that joy with other people. And, uh, and I'll just do a slideshow so you can see the rest of the photos while I finish my beer. Uh, later.